Hi everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less and today I thought it would be so exciting for me to share with you how I pack my suitcase when traveling, especially with so many of you traveling during the holiday season. As you guys know, I am technically a professional traveler. I travel four days a week all across the United States and I want to share some of my favorite traveling tips with you in this video today. Now when packing a suitcase the first thing that I like to do is the military roll and you guys probably remember these Christmas PJs from my Christmas story time video if you didn't get a chance to watch that I will link it down in the description box below but I'm just rolling my PJs and placing them inside of this suitcase that I picked up it's actually a carry-on and I picked it up at Aldi's and it was a $29.99 now I love it because it's very deep and you can put several outfits in the suitcase as you guys can see here I have all of my outfits lined up along with the shoes because I'm going to pack a carry-on and that is my first tip when traveling for the holidays if you are flying pack a carry-on I don't necessarily like to check the bag because so many people are traveling and there's a greater risk of the airline losing your bag and you arriving to your destination bagless I've had that to happen to me one time never again so my first tip is to pack a carry-on so for this trip I will be gone for four days and so I am lining up all of my outfits for four days I have mostly casual clothes but I do have one dressy outfit just in case we do something super dressy now I like to also bring like an extra shirt because you can easily you know pair another shirt or jacket with some jeans and shoes and create an entirely different outfit and then I line up all of my shoes and my jewelry and all of the necessary undergarments that I need for a particular outfit and I match it with the earrings and then I proceed to roll it in the military military style uh, rolling that I showed you earlier. Now I absolutely love my gangsta rapper shirt. My friend uh, Brandy made me one and also my friend Niki uh, Nikiva Lakiva made me one as well and I will link both of their information down below if you want to get a gangsta rapper shirt and I have a different video coming up. You guys are going to love it with me wrapping gifts in my gangsta rapper um, Christmas shirt. So I'm rolling my jeans and I'm going to place those together. You see how much space that saves and I'm just going to go through and do that for every single outfit that you see and then I'm going to pair the jewelry with the outfit to make sure that I have everything in place. I absolutely love these bow earrings that my friend Alicia purchased for me. I think she got them at um, Forever 21 but I think they are so cute and perfect and befitting for the Christmas holiday holidays like the bow. I just love it. So dainty. Once I roll up all of my outfits, I will then remove the jewelry from each section and place it inside of a small cosmetic bag that I have that um, houses all of my jewelry. And that's my second tip. Jewelry can be very heavy, so try to minimize the amount of jewelry that you take with you on the plane because it can make your bags weigh that much more believe me trust me I have done it so anyway I place all the jewelry in the little cosmetic bag so that you know it's all in one place and as I'm traveling when I know it's 
you know when I'm getting ready to put, put my jewelry on I'm not looking in several different places it's all in one place I go in that place get my jewelry and I am good to go now I absolutely love these uh, pearl earrings they are by Erica Lyons if you guys have not seen that video you need to check it out it was so much fun collaborating with them so now I have all of my casual pieces fold, folded up and um, I have one dressy outfit I wanted to show you guys really quickly. I just paired a pair of cream or off-white slacks with this amazingly gorgeous sweater that I picked up at TJ Maxx. The retail price on this sweater, you guys, I love the lace and all of the detailing. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. But the retail price was $368. You know what the Living Luxuriously for Less price was? If you think you know how much I paid for that sweater, leave it down in the comments below. I'm interested to know how much you guys think I actually paid for it. It was a steal of a deal. So now I have all of the items rolled up. I'm going to start placing them in the suitcase. Now I like to pack my lighter items on the bottom because sometimes, you know, uh, you still have to have the TSA agents will go through your things so I like to pack my lighter items on the bottom just in case their hands are not clean even though they do wear gloves but I just don't want anything to transfer you know from their gloves or from their hands over to my items and so that is another tip if you can get TSA certified be sure to do that it will save you so much time and so much money going through the check-in line um, it will save you a ton of time and being able to carry your bag on will save you $25 because you don't have to pay to check your bag and you don't have to worry about your bag not of being there um, to your final destination when you arrive if you're traveling in a car it's also good to pack light because you you know most of the time you'll be taking gifts along or bringing gifts back and so the more compact you can make your personal items the more space you'll have when you're returning from your holiday uh, trip or from your vacation or whatever the case may be so I am putting all my clothes in here you guys this is a total like I said for um, four days and here's my extra shirt you get really cute deer on the front and it's oversized and super 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 comfortable and and then I am going to next once I have all my clothes in I'm going to go back and add all of my different bags and this vest is kind of bulky for my liking but um, I think it will look really good um, with the boots that I have and I can't wait to wear the boots so you guys I just had to pack the vest because it'll be super cute and it'll also be warm and then I can turn it inside out and wear it with a different shirt to create a totally different look or a totally different outfit. So there are all um, all of my jewelry pieces in this cute little cosmetic bag that I got from Victoria's Secret. I'm going to put all my socks in the top. Another tip that I like to offer is that um, because you can risk your bag, bag being screened whenever you um, are going through the pre-check or going through security, I like to put all of my personal undergarments in the very bottom and line it with something totally different. A lot of people like to put it in a zippered compartment, but if that bag has to be open, like I don't want everybody in the airport seeing my intimate stuff. So anyway are my personal things so I like to put that in the very very bottom of the bag which I didn't do it on this video for obvious reasons but that will probably that goes in first and then I cover it and then I place everything else in into the bag and so as I was stating um, I like to do little compartment bags like for example this houses all of my toiletries if you guys get perfumes and things like that for the holidays I like to hold on to the little sample sizes for traveling though that, that is such a great tip and I don't have to like you know not have my favorite perfume with me um, because the sizes are too big so be sure to check the TSA pre-check website for all of your size options for your liquid um, items or all of your toiletries and so now I almost have all of my bags in place and I am going to um, finish 
loading the suitcase with my bag. I absolutely love that one that says success is the only option. And that, and then uh, the back bag I have there is actually my makeup bag. And inside of that, I have just all the makeup I'll need for the week. I didn't pack it with every single thing because again, makeup can be heavy. The next thing I like to carry is my slippers. And the reason I like slippers is because when you have to go through um, security, if you're not pre-check or if the airport does not have pre-check, you can use your slippers as socks to go through and you don't have to like walk through the uh, airport in your socks and so I like to actually put those on the outside so they can be easily accessible and then as you guys can see I added my shower shoes so if you're staying in a hotel um, you can definitely protect your feet by having um, shower shoes and they you know these are super cheap I buy them during the summer and I only pay like a quarter a piece for them and I put them behind my socks to add some extra space there and inside of this bag you can have like all of your personal items and things of that nature. So I'm just going to finish up with some other items that I have that you'll need like umbrella, gloves, coat. I got these gloves actually from the Dollar Tree. The fur gloves, they were only a dollar. But you guys, since I filmed this video, I actually washed the gloves and that was not a good idea. So if you're going to buy them, buy them in black. And if you have to wash them, they won't be so cute and furry anymore. Now before putting my shoes in the suitcase, I always like to line it with a shopping bag, a plastic shopping bag. To keep the dirt from touching my shoes if you don't have individual shoe bags and also the shopping bag can serve as a bag to house all of your dirty clothing when you are returning so everything is in place the boots are my biggest shoes so that is my final tip for you today always 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 wear your biggest shoes so you don't have to pack them and then all of your um, travel essentials like your passport your notebook all those things you want to put them them on the outside of your suitcase so that they are easily accessible if you have to go up in the overhead bin during your flight you can just easily reach in and get your notebook or whatever you need and then because my luggage is black even though I'm not checking it I still like to identify it with something um, different or something bright just in case someone grabs the wrong bag because a lot of people travel with black bags so it's very very easy to just grab the wrong carry-on it has happened before i have seen it happen and so i like to put something different um, that will stand out and so this gold tag does just a trick and it matches my passport case and my notebook case and so if you don't have a, something like that you can just use ribbon or any kind of little tag it doesn't matter just something bright and so something different that you can add to your handle so as you know as someone is reaching up to grab their carry-on you don't have to worry about that them grabbing the wrong one the next thing is this little funnel you can use this to funnel um, like your big items into the smaller carry-on pieces that is absolutely you know a great kit to have and then also I have like a little miniature sewing kit I broke the handle off of it but this is also good to have just in case any accidents may happen when you are traveling um, for the holiday season and again you know I left my big boots out because they would take up the most space and so this is actually what I would wear on the plane and when I'm traveling although it has a small heel they are extremely extremely comfortable and I tested them out and they worked out perfectly I actually made it through the Atlanta airport without my feet screaming 
and so here is the suitcase all packed up and ready to go it's a 360 spinner so I prefer those over the two wheels but I absolutely loved it it made it through the trip great it's still in great condition and um, you guys I highly recommend if you're gonna invest in an expensive bag um, make sure that you carry that bag on with you because I did that and the first trip my bag was completely like damaged but because it wasn't damaged to the point that it was inoperable it was not replaced by the airline so that's my last tip for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this travel video and be sure to travel safe be safe be aware of your surroundings check back um, for the next video and until next time it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers